Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Thank you for watching online and back at home. It's a pleasure to be back in the commentary box uh, on a lovely evening here at Alain Rugby Club uh, in the UAE. You can see China versus Malaysia is next up. We can see the players getting ready in the tunnel. Uh, the team sheets are as follows. I shall read the Malaysian team list. Kamal Saiful, Muhammad Shah, Shuhal Kal, uh, Shah Rul Naim, Harith, Wan, Eddie, Amirul, Azwan, Al Malek, and Shihari. Coach uh, Mohammed Zaizu. And for the China team, forgive my pronunciation if I get this wrong, but we have Zai, Li Wang, Jian Peng, Chang Sun, uh, Zi Wen Yi, Aki Huang, uh, Ben Shu Li, Hoi Sang Ma, Luda Liu, Song Kixing, and Shi Long Zing, and Coach Oli Phillips. Uh, hopefully China have uh, shown some outstanding rugby as the day has gone on. Uh, the first two games, very dominant, very physical rugby, and hoping they're going to show this again. And Ollie Phillips will be hopefully spurring them on for some big hits and some big carries. As we've seen uh, these two teams earlier in the day, uh, they got some very, very good runners and very, very skillful players. Talk about physicality. They'll eye any small or yawning gap. They'll take that take two in the tackle, set the platforms, and run that ball. Yeah, they're playing a very good offloading game so far um, against uh, this team. They'll definitely, like you said, be looking to draw two in, create those overlaps, score in the corners, um, potentially take Malaysia here uh, and try and get some early scores in the first half. Malaysia will definitely be trying to keep the ball, keep possession, keep the ball away from the big runners of China. Um, but it all does start with the first kickoff, which we'll hopefully be seeing in about 30 seconds. Yeah, we have the Republic of China in all red. They're defending the shooting end, uh, side of the club, whereas Malaysia on the golf cricket club end of this field. So it is China to kick off. Uh, they'll be setting up 3-3 split across the field. And James is our referee, giving the thumbs up to let his, his five-man team know that they're all ready to go. And here we go, China with the kickoff clock is on. Malaysia with a two-pod split, one on each touchline, three loose men. And China go for the short one, slightly down the middle. Lovely tap back, and China win possession. Textbook. Textbook indeed. They warn themselves a penalty in the quick tap and go. Oh, the footwork there was just is, was brilliant. Creating that overlap, two on one on the outside, hopefully. Oh, he's gone back inside. Scramble defense. And gone through unanswered. And that was, um, yeah, within a minute. Within a minute from Kikov. Very smart in manipulating space on the outside. And just chose to come right in. Uh, this, is, this is China through and through. Very dangerous on the ball. Uh, attacking that outside channel. And then looking for uh, support play on the inside. Didn't need it. A bit of disruption in the Malaysia defence. Five players there from Malaysia, and the Chinese player just walked straight through. They're very big boys, eh? Yeah. Very big boys. Very strong, very powerful. They'll take this time to recover now. Ten seconds or so, they're back in control with the ball in the middle of the field. 3-3 three, three split. Keeping their options open. He'll make a last-minute decision of where he's going to go. It's a wonderful day of rugby. Getting better and better with each game. Down the draws. Nice to see Malaysia retaining a bit of possession off that kickoff. That's a small win in itself. Oh, a little snipe around the edges. Get the Chinese defence moving backwards. Not sure they got on side. And Malaysia showing a bit of their danger that they have, their pace men. Oh, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, off the indeed. Feet in the ruck. I hope he's not sprained his ankles. Quite a nifty in and out, in and out. Oh, you can see there straight away, he's in a little bit of pain on the floor there. Great medical teams that we have out here today. Great response from the UAE medical teams, individual team physios, doctors, and then the all-round doctors and um, emergency services that are on standby. It's been brilliant to see. Luckily, we've had no major injuries today, um, but those that have taken small knocks have been treated really, really well. So thank you for all those that are, that are putting in their time most of which are volunteers, so thank you for that. Nice shot at the Chinese bench there, getting their moment on the live feed. 
hopefully they'll go on and make a difference. Again, acknowledging the sponsors of Asian Rugby, Rhino Direct and World Player. And of course, this weekend's event uh, supervised and organized by the UAE RF. Wonderful team of officials and volunteers. As you've heard, two ambulances on standby. Pray we don't need any of that. And uh, may those limping off a quick recovery overnight to join the tournament again tomorrow. Yeah, nice sub there from Malaysia. We're back in action. James putting the clock back on there. Scrum here. China have been very strong in the scrum. They'll just look to hold this one. Maybe try and get the right shoulder up to allow the scrum half to nip around and have a go down the blind side. There's no defender on that side, so we'll see if he goes. There he goes. Have a little go down the blind. Is he going to get pinged for feeding? Yeah. And that free yeah. kick. Just putting the ball in. He could have been away there down that 15-meter channel. Good Always all spying that blind side to duck through. Or a bit of a uh, bit of confusion. Sometimes just need to make a decision. He's made some good ground and won a penalty out of it. That is yeah. good. Didn't release. Well, Malaysia need to get it wide now. Chart start to spread the Chinese team. We'll see if they can work this now. A good bit of possession. Two or three phases. They're looking dangerous. Oh, Great fend there what from a the fend captain. Off. That is a high tackle, I think, on the captain. I think that's the captain for Malaysia. Number yeah. 10. He's just getting the composure, saying, pass me the ball. Let's calm down. Let's make a good decision. We're in a really good attacking position on the 22. One man up. Yeah, that's this Mohamed Madrid one. Number 10, no, they've changed around. We'll tap that ball. Here we go. Big runner coming yeah. up the midfield. They've missed him out. China did check him. Oh, if that had gone to hand, that would have been a nice position to attack from. Going backwards now, he's going to have to do something special here if he is to retain possession of this ball. China coming forward. Great clear out. That was a lovely recovery by Malaysia. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunately, a looping pass bounces into touch. Now, China's set piece is a strong point in their game. Uh, they're down to six players. It'll be interesting to see how they adapt this. Maybe they'll go to a one-man lift to allow the receiver. Oh, they are setting three in the line out. We'll see how they then go two versus three out in the backs. They might look to keep it tight, try and wind the clock down, allow their seventh player to get back on the field. Walk in, quick line out to the back. Smart. Not straight, Not free straight. kick. Now let's see if Malaysia can capitalise on the final seconds of their... Seven versus six. Yeah, it's got to be over the mark or behind the mark. Okay, China just putting in a sweeper. He's dropped off very deep. Let's see if they can get round through the gap. Where's his support play? Here we go now. This is where Malaysia should be using that extra person. Two on one out on this wing, if they can get some slick hands together. Oh, unfortunately, there's a knock on there. Referee might not have picked up on it. There it is. That's very unfortunate. And I think that will be the card coming back on. Yeah, you've got to play your, your numbers advantage. Yeah, sevens is such a tight game that when you do have one player up, you need to make sure that you're taking advantage of it. Hopefully getting some points on the board. We've seen some out, uh, very, very good seven versus six spells in the last few games. And uh, I know that Japan and a few of the other teams, Hong Kong, scored two or three tries whilst they were one person up. You've got to take advantage of that. It's got to be very, very solid for the man in red. Still six players on the field. Yeah, we'll watch this scrum and just see. Oh, early shove there from Malaysia. A bit too excited. Oh, It'll be interesting to see if China can score yeah. here with six, six versus seven. Yeah, good, very, very strong pod. No counter rocking. Will it be a kind bounce? James here now pulling Out. it right back for that advantage. China thinking they probably knew they had an advantage. Have a little risk, a little chip through. Yeah. Take a risk because you know you're always going to come back and then call a scrum. It's clever from China here calling a scrum. Ticks down that clock, a few seconds here, a few seconds there. And as you can see, they're now back to the full complement. Three versus three from the set piece. Be interesting to see if the scrum off does have another go around the right-hand side. 
Yeah, that's what you call game management 101 with six players. Absolutely. Let's see what the Chinese scrum off does now. China have split straight away. Going to the right. right. Four oh, on three. what a dance around the scrum area. Very In and out, twinkle toes, try time. Very, very good from the scrum off there. Took advantage of the uh, the Malaysia scrum off following him around the scrum. You'll see now on the replay if they show the scrum again. Malaysia scrum off followed him round, gave him all the open space to then cut in behind the Malaysian scrum and score under the posts. Very, very clever play from the scrum off there. Yeah, just the, just on the dot of half time. Successful kick there. Takes the score to 14 0 going into the half. That was a wonderful game managed by the Republic of China. Being down one man, they had possession, they calmed things down and ensured that there was enough time left for their seventh player to come on. Now it's interesting to see now there is actually still some time on the clock. Our clock is zero, but the referee's clock is the one that counts. And he's saying there is still time for this restart. So China going to look to capitalize. There's the Huta. This will be last play. Malaysia will try and go into half time with some points on the board, get a bit of confidence boost. China will try and hold them out, steal the ball. And they're putting, definitely putting the pressure on with yeah. that line speed. Trying to run out of their 22. Oh, it could be ball a gone scrappy to ground. try. Great offload. Read on it. Try time. Very good. Scrappy try there from China. Yeah, this, after the conversion, it'll take us to half time. But wow, how fortunes can change with yeah. just one cruel bounce of the ball. Yeah, it's a shame for Malaysia there. That was the complete opposite to what they wanted to get out of that kickoff. They had possession. They want to try and go into half time with the score, a bit of confidence. And uh, unfortunately, one bounce of the ball goes the other way. And we call that a 14 pointer. Instead of them scoring seven points, they got seven points but on them. And 21 nil to China going into half time. Three converted tries. Amazing rugby. Amazing rugby. Let's see how Malaysia bounces back in the second half. And we'll just go now to some highlights for China. You'll see a lot of these highlights are going to be China with the, the ball in hand. A walk through first try, five defenders around him. Single-handedly putting it over the try line there. Taking his time under the posts again. We want to make sure that they're getting the rest after those tries. Under the post to convert them. Very good class rugby from China. Bit more of a contest on the ball here. You can see the Malaysian captain in the thick of it. Just outstrengthening them, out -strengthening them over the try line there. Very good. So as we go back to the second half, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Malaysia are going to get themselves back in it? Yeah, they, they also had their hands on the ball. It's all about using that, eh? And, and running into the correct space gaps. At the same time, uh, trying to stretch the China defensive line. Uh, I, I, I feel that China kind of opens a trap for them to run in those gaps and all of a sudden it's closed. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think if Malaysia can get their hands on the ball a bit more, um, keep possession, put some phases, string some phases together. It's minor handling errors that have cost them in that first half. Hopefully they're now in control on this kickoff. We'll see if they can win the ball back. It's a bit of a shadow from the clubhouse side of the field. A lovely late afternoon here in Alain. Now Malaysia on that kickoff, kicking it deep to the 22. Um, it might play into the hands there of China. They do set all seven players up on the on the 10 meter line um, expecting maybe a long kick and they've got possession and they're definitely taking advantage of that down that far side on the wing outstanding tackle there from the wing up just knocking him into touch try saving tackle for sure and they've decided to go quick always looking for options at line out time and why not bounce off one taken down by two Standing deep, electing to pass it along the line. A bit of a show and go, oh, nice. and through that gap. Will he make it to the line? Change of angle, perhaps. Oh, right to the corner. What a try. What a try from uh, 
Bint Mohammed read one. I think that is, if I'm correct, their, their skipper, Malaysia's skipper. I've shook his hand a few times. He has been captain in the team before, and I think he is still captain in them today. Leading by example, we like to see that. That was a needed five pointer. Huh? I think that's going to be the confidence that Malaysia now need. They're back in control. They've scored the try. They'll get the kickoff back. They get to, di get to dictate the next play of the game. Are they going to kick it deep over China again? Get them going backwards? Take advantage of the territory. China already setting on the halfway line. Wow, Great it killed nudge. in. Very, very yeah. good nudge from the touchline there. Never easy. Absolutely smashed that one over. I like those pendulum swing type of kicking, eh? <laughs> but he just kind of turned in at the last minute. A little banana kick on it, a little curve. China's setting right up on that 10 meter again. All seven players, three lifting pods and a Lucy. Let's see if they kick it long over the heads or if they go for the, the win. Very interesting formation, eh? There's the long kick, get China going backwards, but a no pressure catch. That is the advantage of that. Will he make it through? That just shows the strong running from China there. Three players needed to take him down. Three players close to the ruck, meaning natural overlap on the outside. Advantage given to China. A knock forward. There's Malaysia ball in that scrum. It's a very fast defensive line. China trying to manipulate space on whatever space they could get on the blind side. Now, it'd be a nice test here for Malaysia's scrum half. He has had uh, a tough ride so far this game. It's his turn. He's got the ball in hand. He gets to make the decisions. We'll see if he capitalizes. And it'll be interesting to see what the, the Chinese scrum half does as well. Does he follow around or will he go around the back? Uh, he's decided to stay around the in. back and be in the defensive line. Yeah, took that look first. Oh, what a look. Nice cut back inside. And here uh, goes the I wheels. think he will make it. Like a 400 meters all runner. Almost fended himself there on that yep. one. He pushed off the player yep. and, and put himself off balance. Does look like he's, uh, he's taking a little knock there on the landing. Shoulder, maybe a collarbone. I'm sure he'll shake it off. Chasing the game. Two converted tries down. What a the fend. effort is always there. Ooh. Big fend, maybe even a push from China. I had think that might be what the referees are discussing. Yeah. Whether had, it was had a he push. Had he not tumbled? So it is a penalty. So for the push, I reckon, a push into touch, which you can't do. You must make contact as a tackle. But he did just push him on the fend. There's consultation between the officials. That's what we like to see, making sure they get it right. Two on one on the outside. That will Roll be an away. advantage, not rolling away. Yeah. And I think he will go to his pocket for it in a danger zone inside the 22. Now let's see if Malaysia can capitalize on a seven versus six. Very interesting. They got two minutes, 52 seconds to capitalize on that. Was that a red card I saw or a yellow card? Oh, he almost lost that forward. There's space on the outside on the right hand plank. Keep pushing forward. There's about a meter short of the try line. Oh, penalty given. Penalty China. That is our absolutely brilliant defense. Under pressure, six versus seven. To win a penalty on your own try line, there's no better feeling. Again, smart management of just six players on the field. Yeah, and clear the lines, relieve some pressure, take a line out 22 meters up the park. Very, very good and strong from China. And that's what they, they are very good at, absorbing that pressure, being strong over the ball, stealing it when it counts. You don't get many turnovers at this level on the ground because of the speed of the support play, uh, but they got it there when it mattered. Yeah, these teams will always try to keep the ball alive, flow it round. And the few times we had the set pieces, whoever puts in the ball kind of bosses the show, being very, very firm, solid foundations. Yeah, the referee James there just calling China into the line. They do like to walk in and go. Here we go, straight away at the front. And he's going to call it not straight. Tap and go for Malaysia from the 15-meter line, though. 
Yeah, give yourself space. It will make it very oh, interesting if they can score bounce. a try here. 14-21 is a very different scoreline in this game with one minute to go. Let's see if they can capitalize on it. Oh, I wouldn't have wanted to run into him straight on. I like I like the look around lost it forward on the ground. Hands in the oh off your feet. That's a, a good strong call from the referee on the 22 meter line. Malaysia are going to want to go quick here. Playing it to the right. Yeah, that was Jensen. Start to see a bit of lactic acid in those legs now from these guys. They haven't quite got that slow to fast change okay. of pace. It could be mistaken though. He's got hold of his hair there, looks like. Could be advantage. It is advantage to Malaysia. They get a free ball yeah. here. Powerful surge forward. You got numbers on your left. Big numbers on the left. Uh, they needed that one. They're going to look to take this quick conversion there. Again, good try from Bint Mohammed Hasby. If he gets it taken quick, there may be time on our clock. But as we said earlier, the clock that counts is the one on the referee's wrist. Conversion is very, very important. Yeah, this is a very different game if they if they can get it to 21-14. That's one converted try for the draw. Again, what a curler and a puller of a kick. And he's done Leg two up. from the touchline. Two wow. from the touchline. Very good kicking. Still have time. Anything can happen in the next few seconds. And I think it's the last play. Yeah, if it was my decision here, I'd be kicking it down, getting as much territory as possible, turning China around. There we go. Behind Long kick into the, the corner. Oh, there's a big strong runner yep. on that wing for China. Oh! What a run! What a run! Great cover tackle there, well played. Good continuity, man in support. Turned him inside out. Oh, that could oh. be costing them there. Here we go, is it open yeah. play still? Ah, ref has called the whistle there. Great that high action so finish close, to the game. Yeah. Great high action finish to the game there. So close. Congratulations to uh, China for winning against Malaysia, 21-14. Uh, lovely flourish at the end there. A bit of excitement got us standing on our feet to make sure we got the best view. And um, the respect for champions, I Absolutely. Wonderful rivalry during uh, game time. That show of respect at the end. So close. 14-21, Winners Republic of China. The usual great respect. A warm handshake and high fives. Yeah, some of those Chinese players towering over the Malaysian players there. They uh, have shaken a few of their hands before. One of their skippers from the Thailand tour. He was extremely tall, I think around six foot nine. Made me look very small in a few of those photos standing next to those players. Absolute man mountains, athletes, all of them working really, really hard. So here we are, see some highlights. Manu, you talk us through some of these highlights. Yeah, I, I, I like that respectful gesture and pat after the he touched down the ball, eh? In the heat of battle, still, that respect factor is upheld. Second try was a great effort, stretching across the line. Okay, Manu, and uh, I'm going to say my goodbyes here. I'm going to change him for, for cookies. Uh, thank you for the time. I always enjoy coming up here and chatting through the games. Yeah. Love watching these highlights. I'm even going to hang around until the highlights are finished, just so I can watch this uh, brilliant show of rugby there from China and Malaysia. There was a hilarious moment there. And Kruger from the UAE, along with Nico, who both scored three tries apiece. All the try scorers today, as we were just mentioning, Robert Spuel on there. Number four from the UAE, Nico, he had a great day yesterday also, running through to score in a few tries. And then Shan from China, what can he do for his team? With uh, three tries yesterday, solid work. We expect more out of him today, slotting in some kicks as well. Absolutely. China will certainly be looking at him. And you can see the team sheets up here, coached by China, coached by Oli Phillips. UAE coached by Apollo Perilini. Oops. 
Flags are out, ready to support. This is going to be an exciting matchup. Nothing like a home crowd to get behind you when you're playing. Here we go. You can spot a few of the um, under 20s squad there who uh, were successful in Uzbekistan a few weeks ago, coming home with the trophy. Congratulations to them. Seems to be some big support today for the side from the UAE. Made up of some of the Premiership teams and of the Division One sides here in in the UAE, and we can see in the background the teams are just walking towards the tunnel, getting ready to run out into the field. Tom, if you were part of one of these teams right now, what would be going through your head? If I was part of the UAE side, I think they've just got to do the basics right, like they did yesterday. I think the energy in the camp. Certainly in the morning at the team hotel. Music blasting, you could feel the energy straight away and that showed in, in the results yesterday. So I feel they'll want very much the same as, as yesterday's performances. Um, as for China, again, similar to the UAE, they'll be looking to do the basics right, looking for that consistency. So all to play for here in Cup semi-final two and here come the teams. Big noise from the fans. So much noise. Down below us. Lots of people excited for this game. I hope you're all ready at home watching. For those that are joining us live on our YouTube channel, welcome home of the Allen Amblers today in leg three of the Asia Rugby 7 series. We have Robbie going to get this game underway from the UAE. Giving his side tactics for the kickoff. UAE will be looking to res retrieve the ball straight away. Ball's gone backwards, says the referee. Loose pass from Nico. A mistake early on here. See the shake of the head from Robbie. He's disappointing himself, oh Robbie. We've just kicked off. Plenty of time to recover from that. China scrum. Centre field. China managed to evade Nico there. Going all the way to the try line. There's support from China there. Just fumbled the ball. Getting a little bit scrappy out there. Just needs to settle now. Advantage to China. Inside the UAE 22. <laughs> Referee's reaching for his pocket. The UAE side will not be happy going down to six men this early on in the semi-final. No, let's just put the pressure on now. Japan with the ball on the UAE 22. China opting to take a scrum, an area they feel most confident in, I'm sure. Hoping that they can work the first try of the game. Big scrum there from the UAE. UAE, massive scrum. Nice. Nico shipping it wide. Saki, board in hand, captain of the UAE. 
looking for that kick chase. Fun ball from China. And the UAE retaining possession from a knock on from the covering Shen, who we talked about being one of our top try scorers, top point scorers for the weekend. It'll be great for the UAE to hear the crowds in support of them today. Early push from China gives the UAE a penalty. Quick tap taken. Robbie looking to go wide to Saki again. Still driving the legs, taking two of the Chinese to take him down. The most through the ball. He only goes one way. Exactly that, straight down the line. Great, Great hands. Maxi Great Preston. Hands. Fantastic work there. Great tactic from the UAE. They play that quite often. Amosi drawing the players in with the offload. Someone on the shoulder, and that someone today was Max Preston. Fantastic try. Last game we spoke a lot about the leg drive and the power of the Hong Kong winger, Denmark. I think there's probably only one player that can probably match him this weekend, and that's the UA number one. He must say he only goes one way. He does indeed. Takes that ball up very, very hard in contact. Great take from China there on that high kickoff. China still a man up. China moving the ball well. China, side to side from China. China will be looking for a quick response here. He won't want to go into the second half down by any more than the seven points they're already behind by. Looks like referee's playing advantage there, is he? China moving the ball well. China into the UAE 22, going out wide. Great work there from China. The little offloads there, injection of pace. UAE won't be happy with the missed tackle there on the sideline, but awesome work by China. Going to make it a little bit tricky for the kicker out here. Shan with the kick. Great conversion. Solid, solid work there. Adding to his points tally for the weekend, that takes him to 25. He's on the hunt for Max Denmark. 7 all. We wouldn't expect anything less than a close game between these two. Putting on a show for the crowd here today and for everyone at home watching. Okay, China with the re restart. Great take from the UAE. Again, Saki carrying the ball up, carrying it well, looking for the offload. It's a loose ball. Bit of back and forth there. Fortunately, China couldn't collect that ball, resulting in a knock on. So we'll see what Nico and the boys from the UAE can do from this centre field scrum. Nico, as we know from yesterday, is dangerous with the ball. They've loaded that right side. 
Stolen by China. Step inside. Tries to go around the outside of Saki. Great tackle. Great tackle there. China still pressure on. Head and towards they the have try numbers line. wide. Referee's playing advantage for what looked like a high tackle. Taking a quick one. And the Chinese go over. Just on the hooter there. Just on the hooter of half time. Not what the UAE would have wanted going into half time. But a great response. I think the UAE just held off there. They weren't sure what happened in the scrum. You've got to keep playing until the referee blows his whistle. Shan looking to add to his points tally again. No stopping Shan with those kicks, is there, Tom? Absolutely not. That takes his points tally now to 27. So he overtakes ZZ from Malaysia into that second spot. Half time. So, team talks. What do we be? What do we think will be happening now in the China's camp? Well, we'll have a quick look at the highlights. In the first half, and there's the opening score from the UAE. Again, great defence from both sides. The team talks, I think China will want more of the same in the second half. As we spoke about at the start of the game, both teams will be looking for consistency and also their discipline. UAE went, wanted to end the uh, half on a try like that from China. There we see the boys in the UAE. Just okay. seven minutes now between the two teams to reach the cup final. UAE boys still looking full of energy. Although they're down 14 points to seven. Have they got a response? Seven minutes between themselves and the cup final against Hong Kong later today. Shan to start the second half. Not gone 10. And that game later on will be played at 20 past five local time. Great go forward by the UAE there. Loose pass picked up by Nico. Gone wide. Imosi with a great offload to Saki. Saki will look to try and get as close to the post as possible. As the crowd goes wild for the offload from Mossy out to Saki. Dangerous pair, those two. Robbie with the conversion. Quite a high success rate from the weekend. And there we have it. Even Stevens. Just under six minutes to play. China 14. UAE 14. Exciting stuff. Sure, there's a few few nerves flying around. The Alain Amblers. Fields here as the UAE press again wide with Robbie. Great defense tackle. Oh, and just a knock on there. Uh, from, from Saki, he couldn't grab the offload from Robbie. The team from China slow to react from that kickoff from the UAE. Still, 
And as we stayed at halftime, the UAE side boys full of energy as always. China's scrum now. They're going to want to get out of here pretty fast. Ref not happy with that scrum. This will give China some release and they'll look for touch get some distance between themselves and their own 22 First substitution of the game. Off goes Mossy. Great work right here. In Cup semi-final number two. China with a loose line out. Gives the UAE a chance again. Spreading it wide. Quick hands. We're going wide. In for the try there. He's caught a try, but again he'll go to the officials. Was there a hint of a High tackle there, is that what he's looking for? Or oh, is he looking for grounding? Oh. He's reaching for his pocket. And again, as we spoke about half time, discipline is something that will win this game for one of these sides. So, China, the next two minutes, they'll be down to six men. Fortune there from Robbie hitting the left upright. Off the posts. Well, He's that gives the UAE a five point lead here. With just over three minutes to play. China with six men. China with the ball. China with all the work to do here now. UAE with a very, very high press. China, quick tap, and they've gone. Nice tackle there from Ethan. That's two consecutive penalties now from the UAE. We're trying to be looking to slow the clock down, clock down do you reckon? Yeah, looking like they're going for. Oh, they were looking like they're going for touch, but he seems to have changed his mind. I thought they want to get their player back on the, the pitch. Ball. Okay, time off. Is that a clash of heads there? Looks like between the two UAE players. They don't look to be seriously injured though, which is good. Back on their feet. Looks like young Connor Kennedy came off worse then. And he's taken himself for a well-deserved rest. UAE scrum, China was still a man on the sideline. Roughly 30 seconds left of the yellow card from China. But can the UAE put an even bigger margin between themselves and China? Great Tell kick through. Goes for the kick through. <laughs> Referee gives it. Great Robbie. chase. Robbie again. The pressure from the UAE on that ball. So many men chasing after it. Fantastic work and the celebrations from Toby there. Probably the biggest cheer of the weekend. Yeah. 
Robbie again putting masses and masses of daylight now between themselves and China with just over a minute to play. China back to seven men. But again, just like Japan needed in the first half, in the first uh, semi-final, they now need two unanswered converted tries. Defence and discipline needed now from the UAE. But they've managed to retain possession. Nico with a kick chase again, puts the burners on. It's going in. China are back. Can they retain possession? Referee. Penalty for China. Taking it quickly. Wants to play out. To do something. They need to do something quickly. Clock ticking down here. Have they got anything left in the legs? Seven seconds. I'm sure we'll hear a big uproar in a minute. China Just still going down. <laughs> Looking for some points. Okay, offside, China with a quick tap. And that's it. Oh, not quite. The There's the hooter. Gone. <laughs> Calling that a bit too soon. It will be the final scrum of the game to China. Just like the first semi-final, a cracker of a game in semi-final number two. Last play of the game. Shan heading for the try line. Great leg drive, a great defence from the UAE. You can see how much this means to them. China have got the advantage here. Are they going to get some points to finish the game? Great defence here from the UAE, putting everything into it. Referee still playing. There's no advantage, so we'll go back for the penalty. Shan again. The UAE going to keep him out? No, they cannot. Shan adding to his tally for the weekend. Takes himself to 32 points. I think I make that for Shan this weekend. With the potential two more to be added. But what a result from the UAE. And there we have it. Into the cup final, the UAE. So referee. And there's the whistle. UAE make the final of the cup. Historic win here for the UAE, they'll go on to play in their first cup final against the team from Hong Kong. And as you can see on the screen, the highlights from that highly contested game, the semi, China and UAE, a little bit scrappy in places, I'm sure the teams will admit, but some great plays nevertheless. UAE will have a couple of hours now to rest up, get their energy levels back. And then they'll look to secure what could be their first cup final win against a very, very dangerous Hong Kong side. 
I'm sure the question is... Over the other side. Uh, yeah, we can see those players making their way to the tunnel now. And as you can see on the screen, we've got Japan versus China in this third, fourth playoff. Japan just losing out to the UAE in the last game. And China losing out to Hong Kong in the semi-final. Having a look now at the team sheets, uh, we'll go through Japan. Uh, Koki Wai in at number one. Kazuma, Yoshiyaku, uh, Kamiri, Mueki, Taisei, Timaru, Shotaru, Yu, Yuki, Yu, and Teiyu with coach Simon Amore looking to push Japan through for that third place. We got a whole list of 12 champions for the Republic of China. And I'm going to uh, look at players who have virtually, virtually uh, delighted the cause of this two-day competition. And um, there's one that comes to mind is number three, Bao Wang. And also the Ziwan Yi, Ziwan Yi. They have been the mainstays of this team. Of course, it's all team dynamics, but you have some very, very uh, stand out players. Yeah, China have been playing some very structured rugby going through high skill level. Ollie Phillips will definitely be looking for them to continue that through into this game. And Simon for Japan, uh, the head coach up there, will be looking to get Japan to be physical in this game, use some of their flyers to go around the outside edge. Yeah, I uh, will be focused on this game before any look into the Dubai Sevens this coming weekend. And as the players come onto the field, a big cheer from the crowd up here at Alain Rugby Club in the UAE for the third, fourth playoff. Coming up after this will be the cup final. Japan are playing in the white and red hoops with China playing in the black. So we see China here, the Republic of China in the black and red. And Japan playing in the white and red hoops. China defending the cricket end of ground one. And we have Japan, the shooting club end of this ground one oval here. Just seconds away in this plate final. Yeah, Japan with the ball in hand, uh, about to take control. China with all seven players up close to the 15 meter line. Japan going over the top of them. The lifting pod will go up. Safely taken, no problem. Straight into the contact area and secured, ready for quick fast ball. Great depth there by China. And uh, we'll see if they can make use of the ball here. Quick feet, great step, explosiveness coming in. Got to be a turnover there, potentially. Ref says no, play on, release. And there's the whistle penalty to Japan on the 22 meter line. Very good attacking opportunity. Here he goes down that side, takes two players out of the game off their feet. Now quick hands. They, it'd be interesting to see if they run it up the middle here or push it to the edges. He has a go, show and go. All the way to the touchline, one touchline to the other. Great depth, fast hands, 20, 25 meter passes. Awesome to watch so far. People's Republic of China team has been so strong in defence so far. Oh, big scramble defence. Just a missed tackle there in under the post for Japan. First strike, one minute into the game. First strike to Japan, 5-0. It's always about taking that opportunity. Sight of the gap. Ran cross field in the way, but straight through under the crossbar. Yeah, that one happened really quickly. We didn't even have time to, uh, to talk through the play. Just quick step inside. Off balance defender, straight in under the posts. And he adds the extras for a 7-0. Great start for Japan. Exactly what they wanted. Take control of the game. They've now got the kickoff. They'll be looking to push China back again on this kickoff and contest a bit more in the air. Yeah, the man in this uh, duck um, uh, attire here, Jesse's, uh, People's Republic of China, have been very, very strong throughout this two-day tournament. This is the bronze medal playoff. Hanging ball, judged to have knocked it back forward. Yeah, and Japan, great through the hands work there. Creating the two-on-one, getting that winger to bite in nicely. Good physicality from the Chinese defence. They're going to look to disrupt. There's a, an unforced error there. And China will cough up the ball there for the scrum put in. That was a very sturdy defensive line 
trying to disrupt the flow of Japan's uh, rhythm. They did. Scrum time midway between 10 meter mark and 22. Yeah, first, still in the People's Republic of China territory. Yeah, first scrum. Be interesting to see if they uh, contest for this. J the Japanese dummy half just hanging out at the back of the scrum, looking to go left. That was a quick heel back. Very structured, very strong scrum platform. Oh, deep formations, which yeah. gives them lots of options. Yeah, a lot of pressure being put on the Chinese in their own 22. They are just one up carrying at the moment, looking for those offloads, just making ground. Not looking to spread the ball, the depth they're giving themselves. And here's the big runner up the middle, uh, Bao Wang, number three. Oh, what a steal. A great steal. Oh, China's still in possession, not sure. Penalty, done it unfairly there. Amazing their format. Um, in the outside backs, always that deep formation, which means you can run onto that ball in great speed, giving yourself uh, time and opportunity to weather sidestep in, cut out, throw that pass, lots of options. Yeah, the referee's just having a chat here with the touch judge just to see if there was any foul play. Uh, he's saying there was a high tackle in the danger zone for, for China, so they will Get a yellow card here, down to six men. Japan will look to capitalise on this as quick as possible as soon as that clock goes back on. Here we go, quick tap. Oh, referee says no, you have to go back. And here we go, seven versus six. Japan will call the scrum potentially. Try and draw everyone into the game. And the People's Republic of China will have to weather the storm here inside their 22 once again. Japan looking to come away this with seven points here. Yeah, one try down, they will work themselves out into a scoring position. But seven's been a great game, and with lots of space, they can score from try line to try line. Here we go, he's having to go on the outside. He's got great support, pace is on. Can he do enough to stop the try? No, great reach over the line there. Try time. Japan will look to go quickly on this conversion so they can get the restart again with seven versus six. Outstanding pace. Lovely support line, give and go, pass and follow. Textbook sevens when you've got a man over this offload to number 14, stretch. That was and a great really attempt nice. by our Republic of, People's Republic of China last defender. Yeah, great effort, always trying to push them to the corner. Missed the conversion by the looks of it from where we're sitting. Made it worthwhile to chase him back, push him to the corner. Those two points could be valuable later on in the game. We got a lot of fans here, great support for their teams, flag waving, very proud, and at the same time, very glad to have the tournament here. And Ho Siang Ma taking the kickoff there, putting some snow on it, really high ball. Judge uh, to have gone back. Looks like it went backwards into touch. They have gone quickly. Japan, big gap there, straight through the middle. Great reactions, two tries. Whilst, though, whilst one man up on the yellow card, Japan really taking advantage there of being the extra player and having those quick reactions on taking a fast line out. Try number three. Yeah, you Always can't. that option for a pass line out. Right? Yeah, you can't hang around. You can't be looking to see who's going to come in for the line out when you're a man down, potentially. They are going to pass it in as long as it goes five and it's behind the mark. Play on. People's Republic of China, the team will regroup. They're back to full complement now. Referee just saying, let's play. A nice switch from Japan. They look like they're going to go up the middle. Has it gone 10? It hasn't. Touched by Japan, so it'll be a free kick to the People's Republic of China on the halfway line. Japan will look to get back fast to reset their defensive line. They're not, they haven't been playing with a sweeper this whole tournament. Um, free kick there to People's Republic of China. have called for a scrum. This is an interesting option. Midfield Very interesting. scrum. Very interesting option. I think they want to play their fast merchants on the flanks. Yeah, and given their options, three on three, apart from the dummy halves, three on three in a lot of space here. Oh, here we he's go, he's had a go around the outside, a natural two on one if you can get the ball away. And he's gonna have a go, fend him off. Great, great physicality. Oh, oh he's nipped around the edges. 
That's a snipe round. Number five, Shan having a little snipe round the edges there. Let's see if they can whip it wide. Number seven, Huang in good support there, just getting a Japanese player off his feet in that ruck, allowing that time to get the ball wide again. Two players involved in that tackle from Jap Japan. That continue is, continuity is amazing from the People's Republic of China team. The transition from attack to tackle ball area to attack again. Oh, and an absolutely storming run by number three, Bo Wang up the middle there. Big, strong runners. Yeah, the he's... People's Republic of China, they're definitely known for having big, powerful players. And it pays off there. Two missed tackles. Rolls in, takes his time to dot the ball down. He A very, very strong two try. tackle attempts. And... Chang Shun San putting the ball over again there for the added two points. They'll be happy with that. They will be happy indeed. Just before half time to come away with seven points makes it a very different game. They'll be going into that team huddle on a positive note. Seven points uh, to 19 for Japan. This is the bronze medal uh, uh, play off. And yeah, the People's Republic of China team will never say die, they'll always come back. So, so high action rugby in that half, very physical. Two great tries there from Japan. Really putting the pressure on. A big stretch from the uh, number 14 from Japan there under pressure. A little bit easier for their third. And then the Re Republic of China pulling back, working. And the big strong runner coming in under the post just before the stroke of half time. That Now, uh, if you were in that uh, huddle there, what would you be saying to uh, the People's Republic of China there? Yeah, keep the ball alive. When you can take two defenders, you know, set the targets, keep that transition of the ball fast. Yeah, we can see some big names giving some advice from experience down in the, uh, in the People's Republic of China camp. They'll be saying, look, let's maintain possession. When we've got the ball, we are dangerous. Uh, don't let the Japanese have the ball. Uh, the Japanese team there will be saying very similar, some wise words of wisdom from head coach. Pushing the ball, play these uh, phases, keep the ball alive. And after three or four phases, both of these teams are definitely good enough to uh, score those yeah, tries. Seven minutes, you cannot afford to defend that lead. You've got to come out strong. Two more tries and you've won the game. Yeah, we've seen it earlier today. Three tries down. Philippines coming back. Scoring three tries, taking it into extra time, and then coming out with the win in the end. They it's do very have doable. the momentum leading up to that uh, special extra time, eh? Absolutely. So the People's Republic of China are in control. It's their kickoff. They will decide where the ball's going, and they will look to uh, regain possession from this kickoff and take control of this second half. They are setting very wide runners on this kickoff, so they will be potentially looking to hit the touchline. Japan with their standard setup, all seven players up on the 10 meter line. Maybe trying to look to get Japan, uh, the People's Republic of China, sorry, to kick it deep. Let's see what happens. Opting to There's go right. There's the deep kick. Well taken under pressure going backwards. But they have no pressure on them. Now with the ball in the midfield, a good strong carry, fending one, fending two. Regal himself out of the first tackle. Buying his team some lovely depth there for the attack. Let's get a tackle on the five meter line. The anticipation at the tackle ball area, whether to protect or scoop and pass. And they're going right through. Uh, you had to think about the offload there. Oh, just not releasing, unfortunately. Thought the penalty was going his way. Lu De Liu, he's one of the big runners for the, the People's Republic of China. And some dancing feet there. Yeah, he's been on the circuit for many, many seasons. Yeah, very experienced. We got two on the outside, soft hands. Oh, good cover tackle from the wing. He got to roll away quickly, allow the fast ball. Oh, there's oh. a gap there around the edges of the rook. Great vision, well played. That starting block explosive. And I think that is uh, Ziyuan Zai. Going in for the try there, number one for Japan. Yeah, starting block explosive, eh? Sorry, it isn't. Sorry, apologies. 
Japan lead 24, People's Republic of China 7. Will there be an added two points with this conversion kick? Yep, successful. Back again for that magic restart. Proud red flags fluttering. Republic of China, People's Republic of China. A good, good turnout of their fans here. Yeah, and apologies for getting some of these names wrong there. Just a small confusion. A uh, big deep kick there from Japan. It has gone into the try area. It will be touched down and they'll go all the way back for the kick, uh, free kick on the halfway line. This player is going to get there before any of the other players. He has fumbled that it, but there's smart. no knock on. Very that intelligent very play. Yeah, you do not need to make it to the halfway mark. You can tap the options of here. Uh, try coming up and what a turn in. Brilliant. Absolutely good knowledge of the rules. Getting them to the... Uh, getting it to the, the pace man. Quick free kick. Great try. Excellent try there. Yeah, one would expect him to make it to halfway before the quick tap. Knows the rules very, very well. Yeah, it was it was a great to see him. He actually overtook six of the defending players before he'd taken that free kick. Just turned the burners on. It was actually more of a 90-meter sprint for him. Yeah, there's still time on the clock. There's still time on the clock for a magical comeback. Yeah, and China, People's Republic of China, taking control of this kickoff again. They're going to be pumping up now. They're getting some momentum into this game. Saying, come on, let's get the ball. Number five, Chang Shun Shan. He's going to be taking this kickoff, making the decision. I think he's going to kick right. Looks that way. Ah, oh, to the Bermuda Triangle corner, eh? Yeah, well yeah. taken in the air. Very Aussie Ball rules like take. The, uh, playing the scrum half there, and he's going to maybe get a yellow card for kicking the ball away as well. He's going to do the right thing and fetch it. Lu De Liu of China, number 10. He's uh, potentially going to get a little telling off here. And he has. He's received that yellow card. Slowing the game yeah. down, not allowing Japan to go fast. He's going to be two minutes in the sim bin for that. Game today, zero tolerance for any of that stuff. Japan opting to go for territory. Getting a line out just short of the halfway line. People's Republic of China will try their best to win against the throw. And Kameri Soyijima at the back of that line out for Japan. Very experienced player, been on the scene for a long time. He will be looking to link up in the midfield now. Yeah, giving themselves lots of space. Ooh, a flat pass there, just in front of Yakushiju. Couldn't quite take it, but fixed the problem. And oh. a two-on-one on the outside. What timing, eh? What timing? Teu Shugijinu, he does go through, works hard, loops around the outside, puts the extra effort in to create that overlap around the back of that. Rut. They're into a very, very healthy lead. Again, you see the chase back from the People's Republic of China, just limiting the angles for these dropout kicks. Every point will count in these games. They will try and make it difficult. 31-14, extra and two. Japan's number nine, Teisei Hayashi, slots the extra two points over the post there. Japan looking solid. Looking very solid. Oh, great to see parents of our young UAE players. Yeah, and the support there for the UAE. Uh, will They will make themselves known, I'm sure, in the next game that's coming up in the cup final where UAE will be taking on Hong Kong. Under pressure on that kickoff. Yeah, aerial contest. Wonderful volunteers. The, the ref will have to go to the touch judge to find out what the call is here because I couldn't see it from where we're sitting. Oh, it's a line out yeah, to Japan. It is. And there's the experience showing. Quick little call from the back. You see our volunteer ball boys there right throughout the two day tournament. So a two-man lift from China. Oh, that was a steal. And a great steal. Yeah. Two on three. Just Thanks. got in front of the man. Oh, and a oh. thundering run up the middle. A great Indeed. in line. Indeed. That's two knock-ons by the looks of it. And Japan will 
get called for their knock-on. People's Republic of China will take a scrum here. One minute on the clock or so, one minute 30, depending on the referee's interpretation of how much time when the clock goes on and off. I think China will be looking to get a quick score from this set piece. Big strong scrum from the People's Republic of China. Yeah, in sevens, that time is good enough time for two tries. Oh, absolutely. And the scrum off goes down, tries to create the two-on-one on, on the outside. Great very dancing nippy, feet. Very keeps, nippy. Keeps those players locked in. Here's the big man, Takamasa Maru. Oh, that backhand pass, eh? And another one of the big players. Yeah, took on two tacklers. Yakishiji. Manages to get the penalty and win the penalty. That's a small victory on the ground. People's uh, Republic of China trying their very best to work themselves out of the own zone. Yeah, being very patient in defense here, just sitting off. Now comes the line speed, put them under pressure, chop tackle. We'll see if they can get this turnover. He looks isolated there, but he hasn't rolled away quick enough, unfortunately. I love it when players take the tackle and they just toss the ball up, eh? Yeah, and Support comes is always there. Quick tap, thunder it up the middle, quick rucks. They need to whip it wide now if they're going to come away with any points now. Yeah, clock goes into full time, but we'll we oh, still in play time on the field. Shimmy. A Will lovely this shimmy. be the consolation try? Now our clock says zero. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. Shimmy, one missed tackle through the gap. Great pace from the number 12. People's Republic of China. Right to the very end, Shil always in that contest. Shilong Zing there, passes the ball off to Shan so that he can take the conversion. He hasn't missed many this tournament. I don't think he'll miss this one. And the referee does call full time on the game there. A very good game overall Absolutely. for a third force playoff. High Japan, scoring. High scoring, yeah, lots of tries. 21 And Japan walking away with that third place and the People's Republic of China on the fourth. So we'll have another look at some of those tries. Uh, some good turnovers from Japan. A one way in the first uh, part of the game, Japan coming out with two or three quick tries. Really good stretch there again, watching that one. Three quick tries from Japan and then the People's Republic of China answered. Big, strong runners, lots of, uh, lots of physicality. And especially from that number three, uh, Bao Wang touching the ball down there for the People's Republic of China. A quick nip around the edges, showing Japan have got the same. And then, I can imagine the players who will progress through the coming weekend's Dubai Sevens, uh, our uh, Japan team, just a few days to recover and then full training again. Yeah, and a great finish there from the People's Republic of China. Very happy with that. 